You sure you're at the right party? This is a celebration for the Saints, is it not? Business with Marshall is less lucrative than it used to be. I was hoping your bosses would be interested in a new partnership. I'd knock if I were you. Hello? It's Antonio Espina. <clears throat> Look, I, I know that we don't have the best history, but I was thinking, hoping, really, that we could work something out.
Right. What's next then? Time to saddle on up. Uh, you're meant to. What's going on here today? Damn, this place is coming along nicely. I'm ready for whatever today has for me. What should I do first? When can you start? Time to hit the dusty trail. Gonna make some money today. Something about this town, lots of fire in it. Don't make a lady wait now. You're in the big leagues now. Time to hit the dusty trail. Something about this town, lots of fire in me. Don't make a lady wait now. You're in the big leagues now. Can't make money doing nothing. We do big things here. Hope you're ready. It's good to be home. I think I'm ready for some action. Welcome to the team. Got me swanky in here. They just stretch my muscles out. You are in for a world of pain. What should I do first? Time to hit the dusty train. Time to saddle on us. Something about this town, lots of fire in me. You're definitely one of us, mate. Welcome. Won't someone play with me? Please? Don't make a lady wait now. No rush, by the way. Welcome to the team. I need to stretch my muscles out. Antonio, glad you came to your senses. Hey, I'm kind of having a party right now, but we'll talk business later. We got a party going on, so I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. Fuck the Panteros, fuck the Idols, fuck Marshall. The Saints are here to stay, baby. So if you know how to shoot a gun or if you're broke and want to learn how, swing by the church. We'll be waiting for you. Why? Hello, and welcome to Marshall Defense Industries. You know it wasn't easy getting here. Your journey began with one of the most unforgiving job interviews we could devise. But you did more than just survive a few live fire exercises. You excelled, and in doing so, proved that you were Marshall material. But don't take my word for it. Hear it from the man himself. Hello, I'm Atticus Marshall and I wanted to personally welcome you to the Marshall family. Here at MDI, we don't just make a profit. We make the world a better place. So how do we do that? With a little TLC. Technologically advanced weapons, 
loose morals, and a culture of conflict. Now let's take a step through each of those letters. Why are you watching that now? It's the orientation video. I know what it is. Why are you watching it now? Well, I mean, we're about to be shot at, so I figured it couldn't hurt to brush up on our healthcare package. If you weren't paying attention to the briefing, I don't think you'll live long enough for your copay to matter. So I should be reviewing the life insurance policy. You know, our job interview has a 5% mortality rate. Statistically, the odds were low that you would die before we hired you, but I allowed myself to be an optimist. Your parents should have treated you better. Yours should have treated you worse. All right, ladies and gentlemen, contrary to your colleague's demeanor, this is no laughing matter. The Nawali already took out one team that was sent to bring him in, and I want as many of us going home as possible. So stick to the plan, work together, and let's grab that son of a bitch and send him to the frontier. Let's get paid. Team, go! First day on the job. Let's do this. Newbie, catch up! Right! Let's kick some holy shit! Turrets, take cover! Ugh. That was cl- Oh, great fucking start! Shit! Anybody left? Me, I think. Figures. We have to rendezvous with Bravo team or we're dead. Keep pushing forward. I'll meet you there. Yes, ma'am. Protect the new Wally! Ah! Getting a little hot out here. Marshal units, prepare for airstrike. Hey, you! We gotta find. Fuck! Shit. That helps. Better hustle, newbie. Bravo team is ready to move in. I'm not exactly taking a coffee break here. Marshal scum! Oh, fight me! Newbie, you still alive? You sound like you lost the pool. Fall in. We'll use this APC for cover. A rolling shield. Nice. Now I'm delighted you approve. Bailey, make a hole. Roger that. Now let's go. Through the breach. Go, go, go. <gasps> Keep it up, team. Let them have it. Yeah. You guys fucked with the wrong multinational private military corporation. Hey, this may be a weird time to ask, but do we get hazard pay? You get a performance bonus for outstanding work, if you survive to collect it. Got it. Just trying to understand the pay structure. I dare you. Bailey, hold up. Marshal, clear the field. Yes, ma'am. Get low. Gunner down. Shit. Whoa, take the turret. I got it. I'm good with these. No, that's not. You are damn lucky we don't have time to argue. Ah. Take that turret, damn it! You better shoot that turret like you shoot off your mouth. Reloading! You wanted the turret? Get your ass in it! Stop him, 
chopper. Take it out before it cuts us down. Ooh. Reloading! Can't believe they pay me for this. Driver's hit. Bailey, you all right? Bailey! Bailey, get your foot off the gas! Oh, shit! Ooh. Gwen? Gwen, can you hear me? Anybody? Shit. Either they're all dead, or there's no signal. Guess I should push on and find the Nawali myself. The Nawali wants them all dead! Kill like you every day. Eliminate the intruder! This is the last face you're gonna see. Finally, end of the tunnel. Gwen, hello? Do you read me? Newbie, you're still alive? Yep, I hear that a lot. The Nawali's holed up in the saloon up ahead. Rendezvous with the rest of us and we can box him in. In a minute. Gonna clear out some goons first. I gave you an order. It's on my way. Besides, we don't want them coming up behind us later. Fine, but next time I give an order, the only words I want to hear are yes and ma'am. Got that? Uh, yes ma'am. Performance bonus. <laughs> Little C four should take out that barricade. Couldn't do that at my last job. Newbie, over here! Let's move. We gotta keep the Nawali hold up until Charlie team arrives. Newbie, once we hit the saloon, you flank left while the rest of us hold the center. Flank? But I can... Yes, ma'am. Saloon's right around this bend. Get ready and remember the plan. Team, let's take it. Take them all down. Reloading. See? I'm flanking left, as ordered. Just shut up and shoot. We're being overwhelmed! Go fast! We go down, we go down fighting. Black soldiers, Charlie team is here. Sit back and let us wrap this up. Nice timing, gang. Secure. Now get in there and flush that son of a bitch out. What does it take for a man to be able to enjoy a quiet drink these days? Mr. Nawali, 
You're coming with me. You really think you have what it takes to bring me in? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where are you fucking going? I said you're coming with me! Perhaps I don't respect your authority. Then respect this. You set one foot on those stairs! Holy shit! No, you goddamn don't! Give it up, Nawali! There's nowhere to hide! You're surrounded! Make it easy on yourself! What the...? I can't find him! Never mind. Get back here and regroup. We've got the bastard bottled up with nowhere to run. We know he's in the saloon. He can't stay in there forever. What the fuck? Thanks for the ride. I'll see you around. We need air support now! We don't got time for hero bullshit. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Gwen, we've got a problem. Hang on, the cavalry's coming. than brains. You're goddamn right, I think.
try. I'll give you that. Get your hands in the air! <coughs> I got him!
Well, you didn't die. All in all, not a bad start. Jesus Christ! You're not gonna last. Your pep talks need some work. This is for you. Performance bonus. Is this a joke? You, uh, you ribbon the rookie? What were you expecting? There's supposed to be a bonus based on exceptional performance. That's right. And if you had performed exceptionally, you would have seen a bonus. Oh, come on. Can you really look me in the eyes and say I didn't do well? I can look you in the eyes and say you didn't do what you were told. I saw a better way and I took it. And if you were in charge, it would have been an inspired decision. But you're not. I am. This is a warning. Fall in line or find a new job. Fall in line? Damn it. I saved the fucking day!
to reality. Hey, Kev. Hey, where are you at? I'm about to take the quiche out of the oven and it won't be nearly as good cold. Get your ass home before we drink all the mimosas. Be right there. Oh, everything smells amazing, Kev. You know what would make it smell even better? Hey, man, if you want a $300 waffle maker, you can buy it with the exposure the idols pay you in. Don't expect us to chip in. I've told you before, the idols are trying to build a post-capitalist society where money is not a concept. Yeah? Then why don't you go run off and join the commune? I'm into showering. Are you gonna help me get the waffle maker or not? As an investor, I don't like wasting money. You're wearing a fucking bow tie. <sighs> okay, I will throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. Nina? Um, good for 10? Who helped you move your forged paintings last month? Fine, 15. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? Uh, presumably one that makes fucking waffles? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! Hey! The wave slave is back! How was your first day? Were the other mercenaries nice to you? You know, as far as hired killers go, I'd give them a seven. You look like you could use a mugmosa. Thanks, Eli. Seriously, how's the job? Uh, it's the murder business. The fundamentals don't change, just the uniform. Uh, I can tell you love it. Okay. I don't have to love it, I have to pay my student loans. Poof. <laughs> I'm in. So, I'm guessing that means the pay's good. Uh, it's supposed to be. Got stiffed on my bonus today. Dude, what the fuck? Uh, I played a little fast and loose on the job, and, uh, well, I see I wasn't a fan. You gotta be kidding me. Swear to God, this lady walked right off the set of an 80s action movie. I was half expecting her to call me Rook and threaten to take my badge. Are we gonna make rent? We'll make rent. We just gotta be a little more creative. Last time we got creative, I got stabbed three times. Hey, it would have been four times if Nina and I hadn't shown up. It would have been zero times if you were on time. This is true. Look, this is really not a big deal. We just knock off a payday loan place. No one gives a shit if people rob those bastards. You have a job now. You could actually just take the loan. Eli, I don't do business with morally bankrupt companies. You work for Marshall. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas, not debates on morality. All right, all right. Man, this is really fucking good, Kev. Thanks. I was worried I added too much pepper. Mm -mm. Mm, no, seriously, this is perfect. The only way this could be better is if you put on a fucking shirt. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's ready for some crime? And you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes!
So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. Just take that yellow one. Kev, you case the place. What are we looking at? The one guard out front and the owner at the till. He's a real scuzzbag. I want some kick a dog. So, you know, fuck that guy. It's there. Let's get psyched. Oh no, not this crap again. Hey, what's the rule? Don't yuck someone's yum. life throws your way. You have... More agency and power than the world wants you to know. But to realize that power, there's something you need to do. You need to be your own boss of your job, of your happiness, of your life. You don't make $15 an hour, no. You're selling hours of your life away for 15 bucks a piece. So what do I say to the person who wants to get paid what they deserve? Right, be your own boss. One of these days, I'm gonna get you to listen to music in the car. Roger McGillicuddy speaks the music of my soul. You are a different kind of caddy, Eli. What can I say? The world is full of uninteresting people, and I'm not gonna be one of them. You got one of those for me? You really want one after last time? I am not the first person to accidentally shoot a friend by dropping a loaded. Yeah, okay, I don't need a gun. Good call. Showtime. So I made them watch while I broke their dad's... Ah, oh, shit. Walk away, or the phrase dead-end job gets literal. <gasps> I, I don't have much... We don't want your money, just his. Get out of here. You done fucked up. I've been getting that a lot lately. Where's a safe? If you're lucky, the cops will get to you before my people. <laughs> nice left. Been practicing. I can tell. Safe's back here. This guy had his password be a bunch of fives. Pick it up, Eli. I'm just saying, he could have at least made his work for it. Same plan as last time. Eli, Kev, pretend traffic laws matter and get the money home. Nina and I will split up and give the cops the runaround. Cool, let me get the McGillicuddy. No! Oh. Try to keep up this time. Yeah, yeah. See you at the switch. Time to beat it before the cops show up. Life is full of adversity and challenges. But oh, fuck no. I'm monitoring the police scanner. They're just responding to the call. Cops are now en route to the payday place. Sounds like they're out in force. Crap. Bad time for a train. Cops on my ass. Nina, don't wait for me. I gotta lose these guys. Try sideswiping them. It always works for me. Just let them get alongside you, and then bam. Send them.
found their enemies. How's everyone else? Eli and I made it home with the money. Nina, where are you at? Just changed cars and headed home. Good. Headed to my switch car now. It was safe and sound at the junkyard a minute ago. That's pretty deep in Pantero's territory. Did you tell your gang you did that? Are you kidding me? If Sergio knew we were running a job on his turf, he would have taken a 90% cut. 90%? Good God. The man's either a monster or a capitalist genius. What the fuck did you assholes do to my getaway car? Ain't your car if it's on our turf. Now you're gonna pay for parking. We're taking you down! Ugh. I needed that fucking car. I don't think so, ah. shitbag. I don't have time for this shit today. Oh. The things I do to pay my rent. Problem. Los Panteros scrapped my switch car. The what? Bigger problem. The police picked up that firefight at the junkyard. They're heading your way. Grab a bike and head off road. I'll pick you up in the desert. Damn. Sounds like no karaoke tonight. Every fucking time, man. I'm on my way. There's a trail that goes between the mesas. I'll meet you on the other side. Got it. Do I want to know what happened to the Panteros who stripped your car? Sorry, Nina. Self-defense. Fuck, I didn't want that to happen. Let's hope Sergio never finds out it was us. Free and clear yet? Not at all. I've got cops up the ass. I'll pick you up on the other side of the bridge.
You called for a ride? You said you didn't want to risk your car. I said I didn't want to risk it for rent. I'd risk anything for you, dummies. So, is this how it's gonna be every time we have to pay rent? I thought that went great. Yeah, okay. Maybe I can go back to running my old side hustles for extra cash? Don't worry. We'll figure it out. This town is full of opportunities. If you know where to look. Hey, glad you made it home safe. We have to get better at this rent thing or we'll never get to do karaoke again. Also, we'll get evicted. Nina said you might go back to some of your old side hustles. I have some friends who might need work done in your area of expertise. I'll put their info on your map. I think you'll really like them. I like them fine as long as their money's good. Thanks, Kev. Who talks on the phone anymore?
text me back. Newbie, I've assigned you a driver for your next job. Meet us at the rendezvous. I'll be right there. I could do this all day. I promise I'll be home for dinner. Can I get some nutrition facts? There must be a faster way home. Get the fuck out of there.
Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear? No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. The name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage. Just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just dropped something. You can't take all of us! We're gonna just let them shoot at us? Gwen was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine. Just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Yeah, now. too easy. Okay, back on track. From now on, observe and report. Oh, fuck. They have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. I... Get in closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret? From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. Little bit. I said a little bit. <laughs> Heads up. You got more incoming. Oh, come on. I was almost done. Oh, as long as I'm here. <laughs> Doobie? Why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? Gwen? Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was quick. You don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you used me as bait. That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. That turret had given them a taste of their own medicine. JR, pick me up! I can't get close! That truck's on fire! Shit! I'm on the other side! You gotta get off that truck without me! Fuck! The car's on fire! You motherfucker! go you're exceeding expectations. Right. Can you put that in my performance review? 
What the fuck? You're dead! Where'd you come from? Over here! Jump! Finally, let's follow orders and fall back. Sergio, don't fall back! Don't fall back! Motherfuck! You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses! Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business! He's charging us! Shoot him! Shoot Count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that son bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck. Really? Do what you gotta do. But follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. JR? Let's get him. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? You just fucked up. Ah. That's some fine shoot. I can barely see him. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Think I see the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me into jumping range, then fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. You going up against the Fontanos now? Ah, shit! Turret! Happy with that. Are those turrets connected by a hitch? You've got a pair on you. Drive me to that flatbed or I will shoot you in the fucking face. Performance bonus better be huge. No. Get this asshole off my rig! Fun times. Gwen said to do what I need.
It's me and you. End of the line, motherfucker. You fuck with Sergio's business. You think you can walk away from that? Find Clover. I'm good. I'm gonna do to you what I did to your truck. Hey Gwen, I followed the convoy. It, uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, oh, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. really need that promotion. Hey there, it's me, JR, from Marshall. I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Eh, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there.
Hey, JR. What's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know? Any idea where they'd take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope. Just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. Mind if I keep this? Must be the camp. The collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm um looking to join. You, idols. A new recruit. Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. on an idol's mask. Hi, Cheryl. I'm thinking about joining the idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By, like, stealing car parts and shit. Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things? Like car parts? What even is real in a late-stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike.
Timmy O, heard you bring in big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Oh, crazy. Where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to take back. Fuck off! Thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you fight for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. Tether that container and drag it back to JR. No surprise there. always had it.
Holy shit, you actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Kev? What's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Shit. Thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. Ah! Go uh. me. You'll never be one of us now! with the wrong man! Don't know you want to join! I can die for the collection! No, you fucking uh. lie to us! Stay off, Mirage! Get over here! That yeah. was a mistake! Your membership fee you. Enjoy your victory! This is payback! Fun times. <sighs> Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening at Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, Let's talk shop. Gallo's about to start for the Hummingbird Codex unveiling. I want your security team in place. It's your night to shine. If Panther Rock looked like a chicken, we'd be Los Boyos.
All right, team. Tonight's a big night, so nobody fuck it up. You, uh, uh, Johnson. How's the Codex? Ready for its entrance? Roger that. It's in position, and the display case hover tech is green. Good. I love this tech. Thank you for coming here this I'm gonna check in with the boss. Antonio's speech should be wrapping up. Bravo team, how's it hanging? Uh, fine. I saw that. <laughs> Just kidding. Relax. And of course, thanks to each and every one of you. Your donations tonight will benefit the international effort to end illegal traffic of stolen antiquities. <laughs> Mr. Marshall, how was your evening, sir? Fine, fine. But I don't see our guest of honor. Where's my hummingbird codex? They'll be escorting it in any moment. That's what I like to hear. Have you met Myra Starr? She's on the Marshall Board of Directors. How do you do, ma'am? Quite well. So, you're Atticus's new hotshot. That's what it says on my ID badge. Oh, talented and confident. Reminds me of a younger me. Now, what say we celebrate? Go get yourself a drink. Yes, sir. Where's the waiter? I need a refill. What do you think you're doing? You don't drink on duty. I'm following orders. Atticus told me to celebrate. <laughs> of course he did. You want a word of advice? Watch your step around Atticus. He only sees results. No problem. That's what I give him. Uh-huh. Hey, what happened to not drinking on duty? I'm not on duty. Donate what you want, dear. We'll have the accountant write it off. Hey, Nina. I'm on the job right now. That's why I'm calling. Los Panteros are about to try to take the Codex back. What? Are you sure? Yes, I'm driving getaway. I'd have called sooner, but I wasn't alone. Fuck. When? Nina, get off your phone. We're going in. Shit! What the hell are Los Panteros doing here? I've got it under control. You glad you had that drink now? Maybe. This is Sergio. Panteros, bring me the codex. Everyone else, stay the fuck out of my way. Oh, shit balls. We got a security breach. Panteros are in the Paleolithic exhibit. Panteros on level three. Increase the guard on the codex. God, I hope Nina's not in this mess. Nope. Yeah, too easy. Where is my head of security? Right here, Mr. Marshall. Get this under control. It's an embarrassment to the company. Right away, sir. Stop shooting the artifacts! Oh. Secure the codex. I'll get Atticus out of here. Hey, I'm in charge here. You get Atticus out of here, I'll secure the codex. Uh-huh. I'm taking a shortcut through the Cretaceous exhibit. Someone get eyes on the Codex. You nuts! That place is full of Panteros! It's faster. I can handle them. Idols too? 
Thanks for the heads up, Kev. What happened to the roommate code? You are in for a world of pain. What a fine monument to greed you've built. The oppressors drink and laugh while the enslaved clean up their table scraps. Your so-called society is a failed experiment. It's time to put it to an end. Time to wash it away. Time to make some noise. Get ready for a whole new world with no pharaohs, no gods, no idols, but us. God damn it, the idols are here too! There's too many of them! We lost Perkins! Oh. We need backup! The idols are everywhere! Jesus Christ, these psychos keep coming! I'm almost at the Codex. Anyone got eyes on it? The idols are in the Codex room. I'm trying to... Ah! No way you can take all of us. Attention, valued guests. The museum is now closed. Get the fuck away from there. Oh. You just sealed your face. Gwen, I've got the Codex. I've secured Atticus. I need to find the rest of the board. I'll get the Codex to the safe room. How the fuck do I move it? Your Marshal ID triggers the sensor. It'll move on its own as long as you stay close. Got it. Access granted. Emergency transport initiated. Moving to safe room. Rise up, I'm good. Waiting for escort. Cover systems re-engaging. the safe room. I need backup. This thing's getting buggy. Resuming safety protocol. What the fuck? Blow it! Recalculating. Codex is still up there. Fucking hover tech. Somebody report. I got separated from the Codex. Anyone have eyes on it? Negative. I got nothing. It's just chaos here. Damn it. The door's blocked. Need something to bust through that gate. Gunpowder. Replica. Damn it.
Cool cannon. Dynamite. Oh, shit. It's fake. Room's a dead end. Busted RPG? No fixing that. Rocket? Need something to fire it with. I have an idea. Shit, that worked. It's a three way goddamn firefight. We need backup. Panteros and idols are all over us. Canteros and idols are going at it. And now I'm in a crossfire. Okay, I've rounded up half the board. We're moving into the... What the... Marshal Moscas, you think you can steal from me? Shit. Is that Sergio? Let's go, motherfucker. Yeah! Gwen? Gwen! Ooh. That is one big asshole. Gwen, you're alive. Don't celebrate yet. Sergio got away. I got most of the board locked down, but I can't find Myra Star. Copy. I'll keep an eye out for her. Ah! You are in for a world of pain. Come and fight with me! Mini gun? I'm gonna get it now. Someone help me. Miss Star? Hang on. I'll cover you. Oh god, it's you. Better find cover. I'll hold him off. <laughs> this is not how you behave in a museum! Well, there.
Hey, you okay? I am fucking peachy. Sergio's ordering Los Panteros to fall back. Did he get the codex? No, and he's pissed. I gotta drive. See you at home. You can come out, Miss Star. It's safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are really good at this. It's not my first time shooting up a place with a minigun, ma'am. Just the first time people are happy I did it. How the fuck did this happen? Shit. What's going on, sir? You. Sir, I know I made a little mess protecting the museum, but we have to look at the big picture. The threat's been neutralized, Miss Star is safe, and as you can see, the Codex is secure. A mess? Yes, there is a goddamn mess. I don't... I don't understand. Well, you were wasting time with her. The idol stole the Codex and replaced it with a fake. Sir, I wasn't wasting time. I was saving... Do you think I give a shit if Myra Star lives or dies? Atticus. You are replaceable. You are replaceable. That was not. Sir, I can lead a team to retrieve the Codex. The hell you can. You're fired. What? You're done. If I see you on Marshall property again, I'll have you shot. We'll make this right, Antonio. I promise. Thank you. I am sorry. I just got word that the idols are planning on attacking the museum. Hey, it's Kev. I, uh, I made your breakfast if you want some. That's cool if you don't. Nina wasn't hungry either. I'm sorry about last night. I didn't hear about the museum until it was too late to warn you. The Collective don't tell me shit. You should come to the Idols party with Eli and I later. Open bar? No? Mm. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. Just, uh... Just know that Eli and I are worried about you guys. Later. Well, looks like we both got fucked over. Yeah. No work today? I'm leaving Sergio's group text on red. Fair. Los Panteros have been going downhill since he started leading. We used to be about family. Now it's all about him. Plus, he's zero for two this week, and that just makes him pissy. I want to eat my feelings.
Come the fuck on. God damn it. Stupid refurbished appliances. Figures? Welcome back to the Cutting Room, the premier auction experience for knife connoisseurs of all ages. Our first stop, Lung Piercer. A contemporary update on the classic Shiv, the Lung Piercer. Looks like we got a shopper in Santa Aliso that knows their stabbing implements. Let's bring out the next item. It's been a hell of a day here on the Cutting Room, but I've been saving the best for last. The Judas 3000. If Brutus had had one of these bad boys, he wouldn't have needed the Senate to help stab Caesar. How many knives did you end up buying? Not enough. Hey, Sergio just texted us. <laughs> he has to be pretty pissed. Yeah, says he's planning on attacking the idols party. Man, I'd hate to be the idols right now. Everyone at that party is probably gonna get killed. Sucks to be Kevin Eli. Yeah. Oh shit! We gotta go. They're not coming, are they? They'll get over it, man. Don't worry about it. <sighs> They're totally pissed at me. They'll get over it. Give them time. You mind if I get a drink? You do you, man. Can I have a white wine spritzer? Okay? I, I I don't think so. Get in and drive fast. Where's the party? The resort! We gotta move! Try to get a hold of Eli. I'm gonna call Kev. Come on, come on, come on! You picking up? Nothing. You? Yo, this no. is Kevin. Fuck. My phone's on I got silent, voicemail. so leave a message Same after here. I drop the beep. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kev, call me. I'm gonna call Sergio. Maybe I can put a stop to this. He'll never listen. It's worth a try. Decided to get back to me. Sergio, you gotta call this off. My friends are in there. I'm the friend you should be worried about. You are taking Los Panteros to war just because you think Marshall and the Idols embarrassed you. You're saying some shit you're gonna regret, Nina. Call it off or I quit. You ain't gonna quit. Try me. He's calling! Kev's calling! Put it on speaker. 
Kev, you all right? I'm fine, but Eli- They fucking shot me! You're doing great, Eli. Stay cool. Where are you guys? Eli's behind the bar. I'm keeping him covered. Nina and I are on our way. Keep Eli alive. Got it. Please don't hang up. Eli, listen to me. Nina and I are gonna kill every motherfucker standing between us and you. And that means we're gonna need both hands, okay? Okay. You're gonna be fine, I promise. Shit, the Panteros group chat is blowing up. They set up roadblocks on the bridges. We're gonna have to go through your crew, Nina. Los Panteros aren't my crew anymore. Eli and Kev are all that matters. The last thing I said to Eli was, I'll be late on rent. The last thing I said to Kevin was, uh. Fine. Everything's fine. They're gonna be fine. You ready? Let's get our boys back home. I don't fucking think so. Oh, Nina! She's turned on us! No! Los Panteros turned on me! Go me! More ass shit! The system brainwashed you! Eli, we're here. They're here. We're gonna get you out, but you'll have to walk. Oh. I'll try. Shit. Shit? Shit what? What now? Los Panteros should have left the party crashing to the experts. <laughs> but it looks like we missed one. Looks like you're gonna back the fuck off. No, 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 no! They're cool, they're with me. If they're with you, then you get to kill them. I guess this is my last idol's party. You don't need this fucking cult anyway, Kev. What she said. Let's finish what you started and get Eli out of here. Yes, please. Honey, you are getting out of here. Not in one piece. You and your friends are obsolete. Okay, Eli, let's go. Oh man, we're in the shit now. We just pissed off the idols and Los Panteros. Yeah, big time. So let's not stick around until they come back. Agreed, let's move. And this time, I'm driving. I'm good. Watch yourself. Take that truck. Better acceleration. Oh, what about the gas mileage? Fuck the gas mileage! Sorry. 
one alive. What are you waiting for? Panteros are coming after us. That's it. I've had enough for one day. Keep driving. I'm gonna teach these fuckers a lesson. You sure? You got them coming up fast. Well, I got an RPG and some shit to work out. Let's see how that goes for them. Yeah, too easy. I don't want to die before I make my first million. You're not gonna die. I got you, buddy. There's so much blood. Play Eli's audiobook. It always calms him down. I'm up. Oh, not this again. Hey, I could use some positivity right now. Turn it up. You have more agency and power than the world wants you to know. Just to realize that power. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, boss. Of your job, of your happiness, of your life. You don't make $15 an hour, no. You're selling hours of your life away for 15 bucks a piece. So what do I say to the person who wants to get paid what they deserve? Fuck, this thing corners like a boat. Oh, every turn makes it hurt worse. Stay with us, Eli. We're almost out of this. They had no chance. Instead of getting punished for someone else, what are you gonna do? These fuckers are relentless. I know how to lose them. Stay low. You deserve better. You are more than a cog in the corporate machine. Cover me! Hang on! If your life is stuck in neutral, there's only one person to blame. That's you. Uh, Nina? Not now. Damn, nice job. Never doubt me. Let's get Eli somewhere safe. You can decide how... Why aren't we at the hospital? Because you don't have insurance. I don't really care. And what if you saw what they charged to fix a flesh wound? Kev, where's the... Hall closet, no, top shelf. Okay, this is gonna suck, buddy. You're doing great. You're being very brave. Fuck you. Hey, keep talking to Kev like that, and you won't get a star on the star chart. <laughs> Ow! Oh, what are we gonna do? Finish sewing you up? Yeah, and then what? The idols and Panteros aren't exactly our number one fans right now. Isn't that obvious? We're starting a criminal empire. What? Your car was right, Eli. About everything. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Guys. We're really good at what we do. So why are we doing it for other people and not ourselves? I mean, you know how to start a business. Kev knows how to get attention. <laughs> I'm a walking murder party. And Nina? Nina's the best goddamn driver in the business. Who could touch us? Hell, we just took on two crews at once and walked away just fine. I was shot. And you're getting a sticker, so quit bitching. I'm in. Fuck yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Eli? Guys, this is a little crazy. What happened to there being a difference between surviving and thriving? Well, I survived being shot, and now I want to thrive without being shot again. Nina's down. Kev's down. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. Oh, do not bring her into this. Eli, this cat suffers no fools. <laughs> and neither should you. Ugh. <sighs> Is that a yes? Yeah, it's a yes. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started.
This is what I live for. Can my cruiser hit 150? It's a nice bike. Excuse me. Bingo. Thank you. 